My career at Reed Smith represented a sea change, frankly a sea change to the city of Pittsburgh and the practice of law. My career at Reed Smith was inconceivable just one year before I started. And I say that because at that time there was not one African American working at any major firm in the city of Pittsburgh. And just for completeness, there were no women. So Reed Smith in 1973 uh, took a revolutionary step. I hired one African American man, yours truly, and two, count them, two women. I've been able to do or allowed to do virtually anything that I wanted to do during my tenure at Reed Smith. One of the things that most people don't appreciate about diversity and inclusion is that diverse, uh, <clears throat> diverse lawyers do not have a natural cohort group. And uh, there's no real appreciation for the absence of that particular uh, support system. There is no natural mentorship uh, for most African Americans. Really, I've had a great career here, and uh, the firm has uh, backed me up. I've served on boards, I've chaired half the boards in um, Pittsburgh, um, and the firm has uh, given me the latitude uh, to do that. You know, for civic organizations, for government organizations, um, I've done a lot of things. I've served on the public board, uh, so I couldn't ask for a better uh, firm and greater latitude and uh, for giving me the support. You know, frankly, that is necessary in order to do those things effectively. The challenges uh, for African American um, attorneys um, continues. And I think it will continue probably um, until the end of time in one form or another. And I say that because uh, the kinds of things that African Americans have experienced uh, are not peculiar to African Americans. If you look at the syndrome, it's really been a universal part of uh, humanity. Um, uh, a wise man said once that if he were to um, take all of the people in the world and magically give them all exactly the same attributes, perfectly matched, uh, for everything uh, possible, uh, they would, within a week or two, uh, find a way to discriminate, even though they were all the same. So, uh, what I would say is that to the extent that they're, uh, so you shouldn't be discouraged by uh, the kinds of things that uh, sometimes uh, uh, distract uh, uh, African American progress. Uh, there will be progress. There has been tremendous progress. If I stand for nothing, it's that progress can be made. Uh, Forty, let's see, no, is it, oh boy, it's almost 50 years ago uh, when I started working here. Uh, look at all the changes that have taken place. As I, I reported earlier, there were no women. First woman was hired in my class in 1973. So I think the prospects for improvement uh, are always there. Continued diligence uh, and faith, uh, I think, will be required. Um, and I would be uh, reminded of the observation of Martin Luther King, who said the arc of um, uh, the, the universe uh, is long, but it bends toward justice. And ultimately, that's what's going to uh, give us all uh, the, the uh, benefits that the writers so eloquently write about, equality.